Hello beautiful people, I'm Peter Diaz and today's topic is the Great Resignation. The pandemic really disrupted our way of life, didn't it? For a lot of us, it also gave us an opportunity to question or at least think about how we have been living and working before the pandemic. We may have been rushing to work, doing our daily routine of the jobs, taking care of the family, taking care of the kids, taking care of the mortgage, their house, and we may not have put a lot of thought about our personal well-being. We may not even have had time to ask ourselves, does my life, pre-pandemic, really align with or support my personal goals and visions? Am I living the life that I want to live? And I believe this is the reason behind the great resignation. You may be seeing it in real life too, people quitting their jobs or moving to remote jobs, part-time jobs, changing careers, changing partners in some cases, anything except going back to their way, old way of life. This is why when I heard that our friends Udo and Karen had moved into a camper van and were loving their new lifestyle, I knew we had to go and check it out. And I wanted to share it with you too. So let's go and take a look at their amazing luxury camper van and find out how they have made it all possible. And most importantly, we want to know from a mental wealth TV perspective, I want to know what has it meant for their overall well-being. So Emmy and I are off today on a road trip to Tarifa to meet with Udo and Karen and ask them all these questions and check out their camper van. So come and join us. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We're looking forward to, to meeting up and having a conversation. I mean, we know a little bit of your story, but we will pretend that we know nothing. So people at home, they can actually go with you on the journey. So I guess if we start at the beginning, yes. you were, from what I gather, you were in front of a beautiful lake in Germany. Yes. Yeah. In a beautiful house. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And you left it to go wandering in a, well, I mean, a beautiful camper van, but a lot smaller than a house, I imagine. Yeah. How did that decision come about? Uh, it was always, uh, we were always uh, travel, uh, people who travel a lot. So Australia, US, everything. I was normally, or we were traveling um, like 180 days a year. Right mainly in planes and hotels right but then uh yeah we we came across actually we we, we were doing in australia with a rv uh, little holidays and we realized that's pretty cool and if we could transfer that to use it with our business as we have a team uh sales team like worldwide and uh being able to not be stuck into one place and that's why we we said okay how we can bring additionally our business on the road and go where our people are, but also where nice places are and work from there being mobile and not being, a, a, I think, a nomad, what your digital nomad, yeah. which always sound is a little bit like seeing that you stay in hostels and right. you have to figure around your, so we have our house, our tiny house, what it is, 25 square meters more or less. Uh, with us. How long was it between the initial conversation about maybe we should do this to actually getting in and driving away? So it was two points. The first point that we said let us try something by traveling not with a car, with a camper van. Mm -hmm. So we ran the some nice uh, RVs, yeah. uh, RVs and camper vans and then you rented them first. Yeah. Rent New Zealand and Australia <coughs> to see how it is the feeling. Is it what you think about it? Right. Yeah? Yeah. Is it really um, an option for yeah. the car, traveling, plane, hotel, in and out thing? So, I so it wasn't a, a, an emotional decision. Just it wasn't like an, a, a, I, I feel like doing this, I'm doing it straight it away. Was it was really planned out, yeah. thought out, tested first. I'm just thinking about first people that are trying test. to make that decision. Yeah. They need to think it, they need to test it first. Yeah. yeah. See yeah, what really. works for them. 
Yeah. I, I think it was a little bit the other way around. We, we did it in Australia because I, I love to be with my kids yeah. and also there and we worked and we built team there. And so we, we traveled from city to city and we thought, okay, uh, we want to have something which looks like a yacht feeling a little bit yep. as well, like mm -hmm. with the leather and the light colors. In the past, RVs were very dark, like oh, oh, like 70s. Yeah, they homes. were, yes, they were very dark. And, yeah. and this is completely different and it mm. needs to be versatile so that we can uh, use it for different things and setups and we had to check out how we can actually arrange our office we, yeah. we have to diff try different things and but that was the decision really and then it was pretty fast to say okay and now we just buy it and, and uh, <laughs> actually we flew that was uh, we flew to Malaga for a conference and uh, Karen had to make the decision to sign for, right. for the, and it was just when when all that uh, not traveling started and then we had to wait for uh, eight months, nine months to get it. Before actually. you could get it. So what are the pros and what are the cons? The, the pros was for me really to have the feeling that every time I want I can travel, I have my business with me, my clothes, my cosmetics, all with me, no to met. Uh, um, not to, to package luggage and we can drive wherever we want. It was yeah. really there was a feeling of freedom, freedom. Yeah. and the feeling of we can go every time maybe it was two hours yeah to, to make something in the um, fridge and yeah. something like that but and you have everything that you need you have everything there all clothes are in the uh, yeah. everything in. there so you are prepared and you can go and yeah, it was really the, the, the mixture of adventure and business mm. and... But um, when it rains and she does a, a video like you do, like lives or zooms for two, three yeah, hours, have... I, I have to be somewhere yeah. and, and I can't be doors. outside, it's raining. Yes. Yes. That's That's right. Right. Yeah. And, and you're not always yeah, have the facilities around yeah. that you can go into a bar or so. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why, why it's important to have uh, two sections of two full sections for us because it's our office actually where you're sitting yeah. is our office your office with your mo mobile office <laughs> but with a view yeah. i mean we, you you yeah. know we had before this mobile office where i could go and and rent an office in australia or in us or wherever uh, but that would be in a city mm. somewhere yeah, in now a you can city. go anywhere and you want. We, we just stand on the beach and if you <laughs> have things to do you just park the van mm. somewhere nice with a good view, which is also very creative, mm. inspiring. Open spaces. She, she yeah, did so the, many videos. The, the, the view is also, if you, you drive, it's completely different uh, if you drive in a car, than you drive in a car, yeah. because you have the, like a helicopter, yeah? If um, Sometimes Udo drives and I sit here and work and I have the completely few uh, while yeah. traveling. So yeah. it's really for, for... She's like in a, in a uh, S-class at the back. Right? In, in a, um... <laughs> it's more. It's and and she's looking yeah, around yeah. and has her driver, I which I yeah. am. Yeah, 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 of course. Special, special driver. <laughs> yeah. Special driver. Uh, uh, listening to you speak, though, I mean, like, I mean, we're all about mental health and well-being, and it sounds like every decision has been in line with even the light colors, because that feels good. It's a nice space to be in. It's gonna, you know, enhance your your quality of life, your well-being. Your every decision's been made kind of with that those priorities, those values in mind. People are thinking about making a move like this. It might not, it might not be as nice as this camper van, but you know, some, something that if, if they're gonna be working remotely, because most people are thinking about working remotely, at a practical level, how are you finding working remotely? How are you finding issues around, or, or challenges internet around connection. internet connection, for example? How, how, do you, how are you finding that? Um, so for us, what was it really important that we have Wi-Fi? <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, Otherwise, you can't work so, remotely. Yeah, so we have a, a small one for the a beach, router, yeah. a router for the beach, so that we have. That we so try. Where, where is that? Um, it, it's in my beach bag now. Just, All right. uh, no, no. It's oh, so you have a little router yeah, that runs. Yes. Yep. Okay. A moment we tested in New Zealand and Australia that, work. that well, it yeah. works and then mm -hmm. it was also and we know okay you can make videos wherever I, I want with live videos yeah. and we have a router here so that's you everything fine. Did you put it a normal what? router as yeah, well? Yeah it's a normal router here. what we have at home but with a sim card. 
with a SIM card. Yeah. Yeah. And now I have a Spanish SIM card in, so that we have more data. It's just a normal SIM card goes into the router and then it works like mm -hmm. a, the a... The little one doesn't have a... Uh, he, uh, no, one that one connects with SIM. all the different yeah. networks worldwide, but, but, but it doesn't have enough data for like our big Zooms yeah. and things, yeah. because we, we have like with a few hundred people Zooms, so, yeah. so you need data connection and then we have that router and we put in local sim cards for more speed but that and was that also helps with the speed yeah normally in, in uh, most of the camper uh, run places or so there's not enough so you're so buying sim cards everywhere you go to uh, locally so you can have the the extra speed for that uh, yeah more or less i mean the spanish one works in germany yeah. too so. the reason why i'm asking this is because it's very important if people are thinking of working remotely that the speed is important yeah it's also that you change um, how you want to do those things. So we started, I started with um, making uh, Zooms with a laptop. Mm -hmm. And then we see, okay, you, you have Wi-Fi, but it's not so strong. Maybe you know it in Germany. Yeah. And to say, okay, if it's like that, I changed it from laptop to um, iPhone. I may be very emotional and say, oh, I, I, I want to get out so I can live in a tent. But for how long? You know, this is not an emotional decision. It has to be thought out. So it, with what's that, what's been in, the biggest yeah. challenge? I'm yeah, curious. That's it, what's that's been it. the that's biggest challenge? Perhaps the one that took you by surprise about living in this way. The biggest challenge is that you have to understand it's not like a flat. It's, it's not like, not a like a, it's more like a house because. I grew up with, uh, when my grandmother said, ah, if you have a house, you make uh, at the end of the garden. If you are finished there, you can begin at the front. Yeah, if you have a house, you have like that. Yeah, everything on the day you have to do. Yeah, yeah because it's... Yeah, you have to mow the yeah. lawn, you have to... So you have right chores, there. that's yeah. what you mean. And you think it's a small mm. place, yeah, mm -hmm. and you think it's a car, yeah. but it's not a car. It's mm -hmm. like more than a house because you have every, every day something to do. Like what? To, to look at the water, maybe... The water the, levels and... Yeah, the water levels, electricity, uh, maybe something is broken. Yeah, 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 yeah the yeah. rain is coming uh, and it's not only outside, maybe it's coming to the windows or right. there's a leak. Uh, something as every day. So it's not seamless. It's so, there's so something that's going to happen all the time. You have to learn like engineering yeah. to yeah. maintenance to be able to. Yeah, yeah, well, no, not, not in engineering, <laughs> but I am very proud that he, is, that he is an engineer. But you need um, a partner who said, okay, there is something, not a problem, but there is something today I don't know before, and yeah. I have to handle it. So if you're not resilient, you shouldn't do this lifestyle. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Yeah. If you don't, if you, if you, you have to be adaptable. You have I to think. be adaptable. You have to be resilient. You have and to be able to. And it's a mixture to... between adventure yeah. and five stars. It's really always yeah. and and to think, yeah. And, and have it's not going to go smoothly. There's no. going to be things that come yeah, up. Yeah, you exactly. have to and problem then, solve. In the moment when you, to... you when you think everything is fine, now yeah. you stand it, then power is off or water or something is clogged, something and it's not like it's not like a house. Uh, because the installation is movable. What's been, how's the experience been for the relationship? We tested while we rent. Yeah. Uh, um, so you had already tried uh, that. Yeah. Rent a caravan, a van, a camper van, and we see that our relationship is getting better on small space because you have to speak about the problems and you can't say, oh, I go to my flat. Yeah, yeah. I go out. Yeah. So if yeah. you're middle of nowhere, I go in the office. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. today you in the office and tonight. Out of the situation, you have to go through the situation. Right. Yes. So you have to speak about, okay, I need now space for me and see what it makes with me or I go swimming. But then you come back and speak about that. Yeah. And that yeah. is an evolution for us mm. in the relationship yeah. uh, to speak about that. Because and you have to value freedom above all else because it may not always be comfortable. Yeah. But it will always yeah. be free in a sense. Yeah, yeah. So freedom and transformation, like personal development, yeah. is very, very high on your value yeah. list as well. If you don't like it, uh, that you, if you said, I'm perfect, I want to make any right. steps in my life, you don't do that. Uh, it's not so easy because you, you have with a relationship, mm. with the business, with all the things coming up, 
you, you should like it that you make the next step yeah. Yeah, and yeah. said oh wow and you are graceful in the relationship mm -hmm. to handle it and said yes we rock it yeah right. yes we fix it <laughs> yes we can drive and, and you yes, gotta celebrate we, celebrate yeah, what celebrate, you achieved yeah. yes. so for a person or well wouldn't usually would be a couple or a family thinking about living where they're living and change their life <laughs> a little bit like you've done um, but it may not be exactly a, a van it may be in a house somewhere else uh, what advice in hindsight would you give them what would you tell them to think about both things you can think about it but if you think about it it's not like you feel from heart about it so we coming from feeling it and make a decision make it happen so if you have a feeling of something to change try it mm -hmm. and see what is the try the, it is a key thing yeah right? try it is a, really you can't think about it because it's really different if you do it and right. if yeah. you feel it if so like test it test it i don't know that it can be 25 degrees here with windy and it's not warm enough for me so I don't go don't go to it. the boss <laughs> Fuck off! I'm never coming back to yeah. work <laughs> before you test that it. That is a completely <laughs> other decision if you yeah. don't like your work. Yeah. yeah? Mm. But about the feeling of uh, travel is, uh, is it emotionally on your heart? Can you feel it really? Yeah. Decision to set my, my job is going away and I look how I travel now. How, where, mm. where can I stay? It's yeah. another thing. Yeah? yeah. And that is really to allowing um the the emotion from the heart and then said okay if i feel that let us speak about that yeah. what can we do and something else is coming up for me as you speak i'm thinking <laughs> about this moving making a move like you make is not a solution to a problem mm. yeah. you didn't make this move because you were so depressed no, no. you made this move <laughs> because you appreciate freedom and you love travel it's very different to, I'm so depressed at work, I yeah. need to change. Yeah. If you're depressed, work, yeah. go and get therapy. Yeah, yeah. There, there Don't do definitely, this. Definitely. I mean, this is a therapy as well, but in a different way. Yeah. And I think uh, what we do is we, we love uh, we love the job we're doing and we love to work but it's additionally and additionally. We, we don't exclude things so we still go into hotels we were the other day four days in Cornell in a beautiful right. hotel uh, and also we have our free time she, she flies away to do business uh, via yeah. conferences I stay on uh, or I move mm. actually I picked her up once in Paris with a uh, and, and then I brought her in Bordeaux back to the airport a few weeks later yeah. she flew away and she came yeah. back to here to Malaga right. and so so and I was in between on my own working from mm. here so it's not an exclusion it's an add-on mm. and, uh, and we have the business before to, yeah. to, uh, the business the was business, there yeah. so we have it almost six years so mm. and the camper were now two years as a, the, the business was before there mm. and yeah. then we think about oh how is the motion good. to mm -hmm. make it yeah. At all. And so you were not solving a problem, you were adding to your life. Yeah, yeah we want it to be movable. We don't want to be sitting in an office and uh, working from somewhere maybe in winter, like yeah. uh, when it's mm. cold and snowy, mm. she doesn't like that. So we thought, how we do that? Do we rent an office somewhere? Do we rent a house? But we want to be mobile and we want to move, follow the sun mm. again. Mm. And so we, and now we can choose where we stay. So the reality is, is like not a brochure. No. The reality is no. not a brochure. The no. <laughs> Sure. No. One of the no. things I'm hearing though is instead of sitting saying I wish I could, I wish I could, it's how can I? Yeah. I've heard okay. you use the how word so many yeah. times how can in I this make conversation. It how do okay, this is all yeah. that how do I? How yeah. do I? Yeah. That problem solving approach rather than yeah. sitting still saying I wish. I uh, well, one, one thing yeah. I wanted to say what? is also our products fit, fit of course perfectly because they're organic, they're uh, mm. natural, biological, uh, so all natural products. Um, and actually on the camping grounds and wherever you go, everybody, everyone <laughs> is a customer, a potential yes. customer for, for our stuff, for, for it's good all health, but, uh, yeah. it's all natural, all like out of plants and natural and every, it can help everybody to bring the body back in balance. Mm. Uh, and that's and we'll, we'll put your website, yeah. your link Thank on you. the description so people, they can contact you and talk to you 
And they can't even do the questions. So you're, you're looking at well-being from, from all angles. Or no <laughs> well-being. It's well-being I mean, from every every aspect. If they have any questions about which camp event to go yeah. to, <laughs> you're the experts because you've thought about it. I've never seen anybody that has thought about it so much yeah. Yeah. as you. Oh, we the learned. Details, we, we had our experience. The details on, on camp events. Yeah, you've got a you lovely place here. Yeah. If you really have your, your skills, if you think about, oh, I have so many... Uh, um, uh, steps in my life and how can I do now put all that in a box like a new business or ask us. Yeah. <laughs> and, and one learning is also you don't need the stuff you have because here mm. you are limited in space you can't take everything so you uh, have to choose wisely what you take yeah. and you realize uh, it's like on you going on a hike and just having a backpack yeah. you have limited space you can't yeah. take a, a carry everything yeah. and what you really need and what you don't need you will realize things what you don't need and things you really need mm. and that that's also an experience and you yeah. in especially in our very commercial world that you have too much stuff at home yeah. and you don't need it if you didn't touch it for a while just uh, don't, you you did, just don't need it mm. yeah. and that's the point and and you can still be dressed nicely and have fresh clothes but you don't need uh, fifth whatever five meters of cupboard <laughs> you have two meters or one and a half and that's enough yeah. so ladies if you're thinking <laughs> about moving you're not gonna have as much wardrobe space so yes. think about that yeah. very very carefully well thank you very much that was thank a very very useful conversation yes. Karen you. Udo Thank, Thank you, you for much. having us in your home and showing us around yeah. and I'm sure people will, will ask you questions. Uh, please if, let us know in the comments if you want to uh, say something to Udo and Karen for uh, being very, very welcoming and hospitality. <laughs> and if you have any, Thank you. any questions to ask or conversation, please do so in the comments and we will also put your link on the description so if they want to send you a message or talk about yeah. Yeah. want to find out about your business or your lifestyle or camper vans or anything else they can do so how to handle the partnership <laughs> <laughs> how to grow your partnership very 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 thank you very much bye bye everybody bye bye see ya bye Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.